In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the implicit join syntax in MySQL. So here we have a basic inner join. We're selecting everything from the orders table, joining it with customers table on orders.customerid equal to customers.customerid. Pretty basic. There is another way to write this query using implicit join syntax. Let me show you how that works. So we select everything from. Now here we can type out multiple table names. So orders, comma, customers. And we can also give them an alias. So C and O. And then we move this join condition to the where clause. So I'm going to copy this from here, type out a where clause, and paste the condition. These two queries are equivalent. What we have here is called implicit join syntax. Now, even though MySQL supports this syntax, it's something that I suggest you not to use because if you accidentally forget to type out the where clause, you will get a cross join. Let me show you what I mean. So first, I'm going to delete the first query and execute this. So we get 10 records because we have 10 orders in this database. So far, so good. But what happens if we accidentally forget to type out the where clause? Instead of 10 records, we're going to get probably 100 records because every record in the order table is now joined with every record in the customer's table. This is what we call a cross join. Now, later in this section, I'm going to talk about cross joins in more detail. But what I want to point out in this tutorial is that it's better to use the explicit join syntax. So we use join because this syntax forces you to type out the join condition. If you simply join orders with customers without typing the join condition, you're going to get a syntax error. So to recap, be aware of the implicit join syntax, but write all your joins using the explicit syntax.